Hello, Milwaukee. This is Pastor Walter Owens of New Life International Ministry. This is the day that our Lord and Savior has made, and boy, we're going to really rejoice in it. Along with myself and my partner in Christ, Pastor Charles Zimmer. We welcome all our listeners to our weekly broadcast show, Focus 2020. As believers in Christ, we must have a 2020 vision and a transformative mindset to live and abide and walk in the plan and the will God has for your life. Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Pastor Walter Owens of New Life International Ministries. I have two great men of God with me today. And the one that I'm crazy about is not acting crazy today. He's (laughs) acting like he's normal, but we know that is not true. So I want him to introduce himself. Well, well, well. Who am I today? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the slightest I'm idea. I'm Pastor Charles Every <laughs> And introduce. A.K.A. Captain America. <laughs> Pastor uh, uh, Cornell. Amen. Welcome back. Amen. I don't want to talk to the shieldless one. <laughs> I left my shield. He got, he got That's what I said. My shield was revoked. <laughs> <laughs> I made a mistake, so he took it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I engineer Justin is looking at you out there. You, you see what we got to put up? I'm so glad that you are controlling this because I know at times he don't have a slightest idea. How do you get a a, 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 a toy shield revoked? <laughs> <laughs> Man, let's go back. Amen, hey, amen. You know why? Because common, as we were talking about last that's week. That's the common sense. <laughs> and that's your character. Yeah. Hey, again, welcome everybody to our weekly broadcast, Focus 2020, right here at Joy 1340 AM and 98.7 FM. And they can join us elsewhere. Where, Pastor? At Joy 1340 AM.com. Amen. Amen. Welcome back, Pastor Cornell. I'm glad to be here on today. Yes, yes. Welcome back. You Let's know, like, make sense out of this common sense today. <laughs> well, <laughs> we, we want to leave Captain uh, Shieldless over in this corner. Amen. Are you ready? What's bringing? I don't know. I hear all kind of stuff going music. on. Somebody got some music playing. Okay. Amen. Well. Amen. Something is going on. Oh, it's on me. Oops. That's you. <laughs> How did they do that? That's the shieldless one. You left your shield. <laughs> yeah, boy. I tell you what, then. He came in with Thor Hammer. <laughs> with <the> Thor Hammer. <laughs> and took a little choice. So, since you're the one that's, that's, that's shieldless today, we want to start the, pro, the show today with you. I got a question for you. This is going to really show you why you broke your little toy shield. I want you to read for our audience today, Proverbs 8, chapter 8, verse 12 through 14. And now this should help you with your character when it comes to common sense. I wisdom dwell with with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mind and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Wow. Did that help you? Yeah, it helped me. Okay, okay, okay. Well, since it did, explain this for me and Pastor Cornell. Chapter 12, I, I, wisdom, it dwells. Does wisdom dwell with you? Does that help you with common sense and the character that you should live? It's supposed to. It's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to help. <laughs> if you wait, 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 time out, time out. You go to the bench. Pastor, Pastor Child, help her with you. You go on the bench right quick. And, and read Wisdom your is knowing what to do. <laughs> Thank you. What to do. And, and you, you know, it's, you know, wisdom, it, 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 it's a whole lot plays in that. Like, if there's a hot fire, is there, if there's a house fire, Wisdom tell you to run, get out, break right, out, you know, right. do something to get out. Or if it's a small fire, wisdom will tell you to, common sense will say, get some water. But if it's a grease fire, you can't put water on grease. 
lest you want to set it on fire even more. Okay. So common sense, it, it, it plays a lot behind wisdom and all that wisdom and common sense goes together. So wisdom will help you get out of a whole lot of stuff. Wisdom will help you build and make sense out of what you're building. You know, and to bring our uh, listeners up to where we are and what we're speaking about today, uh, from last week, we was talking about does common sense matches your character? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we see that Pastor Charles at times. <laughs> Why you have to put it on me? <laughs> Why anybody come in the studio <laughs> lose a lose a lose his accessories? You sit up there. Accessories. Uh, uh, I lost the burning out. <laughs> I lost the field. Right, but 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 seriously. On a on a serious note, I got you. Okay. Well, here's the deal. Okay, when you have common sense. You're going to walk in wisdom. Okay. So just like Pastor used the illustration of a house fire, so you have a grease fire, something to tell you get some type of powder or flour or something to put on it to, to extinguish the fire. The same with the Word of God. It says the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, arrogancy, and the evil way. Okay. Why? Because many people become arrogant in themselves Amen. and self-confident, Amen. And, mm-hmm. and they begin to walk in the evil way. And, and wisdom would tell you, if I'm going to fear the Lord, it's not talking about being frightful of God. It's in respect and reverence for God. It's to hate the evil way of the flesh. I love flesh. that, Pastor. I because love that. the flesh is going to continue to keep you walking away from God in rebellion and stubbornness and haughtiness. And then on says, counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Why? Because when God gives us counsel, he's going to give you something to make you better. So if I'm dealing with an issue in my life, and I begin to pray about, okay, God, how do I deal with this depression? How do I deal with this anxiety? How do I deal with this stress? And the Holy Spirit will say, okay, why don't you go play some calming music? Why don't you go read the Bible? Why don't you go sit down and just meditate? Because the counsel of the Lord is going to speak by the power of the Holy Spirit something in sound wisdom to get, give you just what you need at that moment to calm your spirit. Amen. Right. Pastor, Pastor Charles, a question. You know, when, when, when I'll be was Charles saying, today. <laughs> I did, what did I say? Pastor Charles. Charles. <laughs> Twice. Well, I was talking to you. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> no, but, but, but serious, you know, when, when Pastor Charles is speaking at Pastor Cornell, when we're saying that our common sense does not match us with our character, and if we think and not knowing the wisdom of God, it makes us part of a fool and is having no common sense or being void from understanding. It's good or evil. You know, I used to watch these cartoons uh, where they have the devil on one side and the angel on uh, another angel on the other side. And just like the enemy, he'll show you all the things that you may like in your heart. And, Ooh, that's and so good. You, you'll, you'll pretty much be right. You'll be seeing all these finer things. And the angel of the Lord will be trying to tell you, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. And when it talks about here, uh, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Amen. And so therefore, therefore, I need to dust this devil off my shoulder because now my anxiety level is high and I know that when I go there, I'm going to lose my mind and I'm not going to use common sense. And I need my common sense to continue to match my character if I'm trying to live right by God. No, you know what? That's I good. love that. that is good because you know what I love about the book of Proverbs it proclaims the benefits of gaining wisdom and it all shows show us not to act like a fool. In other words, God gives us and he knew our character when he created us. Mm-hmm. But it right. is us that want to follow the world that will separate us from what the common sense that God gave us, that we want to follow the character of the world. Mm-hmm. And here's the thing. I, I was thinking, just thinking about, you know, the fool part. You know, we used to see, it used to be a guy that used to be in the neighborhood when I was younger, and we called him Woozy. And uh, he'll get in his car, he'll do uh, spin. I was right in the middle of the street, right there, just do wrong oh. circuit just burning rubber and everybody knew him to be a fool because only a fool would do something like that and and it was uh, and there's some people in our life we can say you know what uh so also he was a fool when he did that that was crazy that was just out of order right there you know but you being a man of god if you see somebody getting ready to do something foolish and they're hanging out with you should you stop them should we stop them should we stand up and say no 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 this ain't right let's make sense out of what we're about to do 
because now if if I'm with you, I'm going to be a part of whatever you're going to do. I love that. Yes, you see what I'm saying? Yes, yes. So I need to use my common sense to make sense out of what you're planning on doing. And it's, it's it just, it, I remember, I just want to share this with you. I remember one time I had to make a constant decision. There was some guys that wanted me to take them to move something. And these was older guys, and I'm young. I'm about 17 years old, got my car. And they said, I need you to help come with me to move something. And when I noticed that when I went with them to move something, the house that they went in, they was moving out. You know, back then, they had them big old bubble back flat screen TV. the mm-hmm. first one that ever came out. They was coming up with one of those. And so I saw them do that, and I just took off. I said, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not. My common sense said, take off. Take Amen. off. Because Amen. if Amen. I would have stayed with them, I would be a part of it. Because I didn't know what they was. They just said, take us here so we could pick up some, And they was going to pay me. But I knew in my heart that I needed to move around. You know, Pastor uh, Charles, I know what Pastor was saying. And to, and to show by the scripture how true and when God wants us to use our common sense. Look what it says in Proverbs chapter 3, 14, uh, 13 and 14. You see that one? Yes. Read that for our listeners today. Three. Chapter uh, Proverbs three, uh, chapter thirteen, uh, verse thirteen and fourteen. It says what? Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. And what this is reference to is that wisdom will make you satisfied. Wisdom will give you joy, and that's what it says. Happy is the man that finds wisdom. So if I find the wisdom of God in my heart. And I get understanding. I'll know the direction God has for me. I know the plan God has for me. I know the things God want me to do. And I get satisfied in my heart knowing that I'm pleasing the Lord and not myself, self-will. And then it says the merchandise is better than the uh, merchandise of silver because you can't buy wisdom. Okay. You can buy everything okay. else that the world has to offer, but mm. you cannot buy Amen. the wisdom Amen. and the counsel of God. Mm. I was thinking of something, too, when it talks about in a, when God says in a forward mouth, he, he, he hates. A forward mouth is a mouth, a person that complains all the time. It's a person, not only that, that moves in a direction from the will and the plan of God for them because I want to complain so much myself out of the promise of God's blessings and favor on my life. So when God says he wants to do things in my life, I got so many negative things in my mind, I'm going to keep speaking all this negative stuff that God doesn't want me to speak. So I call myself to cause God to hate the thing I'm doing, but he loves the person. Hey, Pastor, let's take a quick break. Hey, I'm Pastor Walter Owens, along with my co-host, Pastor Charles Emery. You know, Pastor, I want to welcome all our listeners to join us for our weekly broadcast, which is Focus 2020. And they can find us where? At Joy 1340 AM and 98.7 FM every Thursday at 2.30 PM. And what will they receive once they get here? They receive a word from the Lord, and I guarantee you will be blessed. Amen. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I like that, Pastor Charles uh, Cornell. I'm getting ready to come to you because mm-hmm. when he was saying that, I love what you were saying when you was a young man. Mm-hmm. And these older men asked you to do something with them, and you willingly went. Mm-hmm. But the character of God let you know that something was wrong, and mm-hmm. you left. And that's what we want our listeners to know is a lot of times— We're going to be bombarded about people that we know, people we trust, people we love. They're going to bring things that are not of God. To influence. To influence you. But the wisdom of God will cause you to understand. I love that illustration you said when I remember the cartoons, the the devil on one shoulder and Mm -hmm. the enemy. But God always speaks to you first. Mm -hmm. But then the devil wants to get louder, Mm -hmm. as you know. And when he gets louder, where's your direction? As we was talking about earlier uh, uh, last week, common sense doesn't match up with your character. Mm -hmm. But if you follow the devil, what character are you living? Mm. You know, one thing, too, another point is that is your mouth lining up with the character of God? Pastor Mm -hmm. Cornell. Mm It's your mouth. So it's, it's what comes out your mouth. I mean, your power comes out your mouth. Life or death is in your tongue. And your character, whatever you speak out of your mouth, you got to know that a lot of times people say that's the first thing that comes to your mind. And you got to be careful what you say around certain people. Now, common sense is simply this right here. If I know that you have mental issues 
and you have trigger points, common sense to me that I'm going to talk to you on your level. God going to meet you on your level. God going to talk to you so you can make mm. common sense out of what, what's, what God is trying to say to you. That's God ain't going to come to you and use words that you are not even capable of understanding. So that means that God going to talk to Charles on his level, Orange on your level, and me on my level. So And, and, he's, and at the same time, we're going to make common sense out of it so we can live by example towards other people. So you want to live the life and the character of Christ. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's good. Mm-hmm. Because if your character is lined up with the life of Christ, then whose character are you following? And that, that's something we need to take a personal examination of in our own hearts to find out, am I finding wisdom or am I finding foolishness? Because it's a the fool and it's folly who cannot, follow, cannot even achieve wisdom. And then one thing, I'm thinking about something, uh, another scripture came to mind. It says, um, do not be hasty to become angry, for anger rests in the bosom of fools. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of things in reference in Proverbs and in Ecclesiastes that talks about the behavior and the pattern that our lives should be exemplifying. And a lot of times the enemy, he calls you to get out of character because you get so stubborn and stuck on yourself to where you neglect the voice of God. I remember someone asked me, said, do God speak to me? Yes, he speaks all the time. We just ain't listening. You know, when God speaks, he speaks through his word. I said, when you get in the word of God and you get to study God's word and meditate in the word, the word going to speak to you. That's so, the voice of God. And you know, and it sounds like that uh, our desire when we get out of, uh, out of the character of God, our desire is that we want instant gratification mm-hmm. because the enemy is making more common sense to us. As I was saying a few weeks ago, it's like that man in the mirror. And if somebody talks about you all as, as pastor, well, this pastor's doing this. He's not doing that there. He should do this here. I don't want to be at his church because he's not letting me do this and do that. Well, the only reason you see something negative in the pastor is because he's holding that mirror. And what you look in the mirror is a reflection of yourself. Mm-hmm. And the only way I can say anything negative about the characters of you all is the common sense that I'm using because I want that instant gratification. I want to be like you, but I don't want to have to go through the process. The process. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to go through the process. And, and common sense, uh, like the discernment of your spirit, I can discern your spirit, what's going on. Like I can, you know, know it's like you're a man of God. Right away when I first met you, I had the spirit of discernment. I was able to know that. So common sense told me that you were a man of God. Amen. And so Amen. at the same time, so I'm using that common sense. Now I can talk and communicate with you on this level right here. You know, when we first drove, we first drove together, we didn't talk, dabble about this, that, or the other. We dabbled about the Lord. Amen. Dabbled about Amen. the Lord. Amen. And that makes a whole lot of sense. And I, I say that, I say this to say this, that you meet people and you get to know people and you'll find out their character just in a few minutes if you really focus because the, the, you'll be able to discern that spirit and that character at the same time. So if you're talking to me all cool and nice we're talking about the word and I'm riding down the road with you, get on the phone, you cut somebody out, I'll be like, oh, wait a minute. That ain't the same. That Right, right. That ain't the same person. That let, character. Me, let, me, let me just back up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. You know. And I think, uh, uh, thank you for saying that, Pastor uh, Cornell, because that's the blessing that that the Lord has give, given us to name this broadcast Focus 2020. Keep mm-hmm. your focus on God, but 2020 is that perfect vision. And that's where we have to live. We got to make sure that our common sense matches up with the character that we want to live in. A lot of people, it's hard for them to do that because they're afraid. They want to continually live mm-hmm. in the way the world lives. And it's so sad that we can look around the world today. Look how much destruction is going on. Look how much hatred it is. It's because we. I want this territory. You know, I want to uh, change the way you live, take you out of your character and do what I say. And that's the problem that people are following what the world is doing because what the, what God said, he said, uh, the world, they only hear the world, they're going to follow the world, but he said you and I are foreigners in this land. Mm-hmm. In other words, you're in this world, but you're not of this world. So how would you share, pastors, I want you all to uh, take a moment and, and explain to people that you come in contact with by the word of God, how would you help them, not tell them, but how would you help them 
to find their true identity. My thing is right here is that to walk, my walk is going to show you Amen. who I am. Amen. And if you really want to, if you really want to walk like Christ, find somebody that you can walk behind them. And uh, I can't think of the word right now that you can mirror them, you know, and you can get their character going to show. So when you're following behind somebody, you know, that this person didn't change because we hung out, we laughed. I ain't hear no negative anything. I ain't never heard this person do anything out of the ordinary. So I'm trying to find Christ. I'm living by example. That's so, good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's Pastor good. Child. And you know, that's a really good point because I was looking at one of the points in our notes. Here. It says common sense is, is often developed by learning from consequences of such poor choices. Mm. Because if my life is uh, being an example and a reflection of Christ, so when people do see me, even behind closed doors, I'm going to continue to live that and according to the standards of God's word to live my life as a pleasing sacrifice to the Lord. So even when I be around certain people, like I can be around a bunch of drunkards. And even though I used to drink a lot, it's not going to affect me if I've truly been delivered. Okay. Because okay. my life of Christ is going to outshine the dark. I remember reading the scripture in Isaiah uh, 59 where God was telling the children of Israel, he says, I'm going to cause you to be a light to the Gentiles, and the light is going to display my glory before them. And that's what God does because we are the radiance of God's glory in the flesh to reveal God to the Gentile nation, which is the sinners, those who don't know Jesus Christ. And so anything that I do, I want to do according to the wisdom and standard of God's word. You know, because we want want our listeners to know this also. Everyone makes bad decisions. At some point, we should make the right choices. We should understand the difference between wise and being foolish. If you're going to be wise, you want to stick with the word of God. If you want to be foolish, you want to follow what the world is having you to do. And then the thing is, then we when we make these mistakes, I want to come back for you. I want you to pray for me, Pastor Cornell, Pastor Charles. I need your help. And I'm and once you do these things for me, then I turn around and do the same thing over and over again. Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, uh, not using common sense or foolish foolishness. Being foolish, yep. They like to go back to that old that old thing. The old thing have not quite left him. Like Charles said, he can he can be around it and not be affected by it. You know? I like that. I so like here's that. the thing I right like here: that. we get we get these shots, these booster shots for this virus that's going on right here, but yet and still we can still be affected by the same virus. Mm -hmm. so it, it mutates. So because he's been delivered wholeheartedly. His, his that alcoholism that he dealt with back in the past has not mutated. Ooh, I like no, that. I, no, you see, I'm, 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 I'm agreeing with you. So, so with therefore, you. I didn't go from Newports to Salem's or Winston's or mm. Marlboro's or something like that. So I didn't just just switch like that. So therefore, when I quit, I quit. Mm -hmm. That made a whole lot of common sense. Common sense is not. Be, I, I I just quit this, but I'm still gonna drink whiskey. Mm -hmm. You gotcha. see what I'm saying? Gotcha. So common sense is when you quit, you quit. quit. And that's how you know God delivered you from it. When you can hang around people who's intoxicated or hung out on, strung out on drugs somewhere you used to be. And now you can speak to that person because you used to be there. And you know, one thing that uh, I'm looking at our time here, you know, one thing that is is so powerful what, what you are saying. And I hope our listeners is getting and getting educated on this. We're not telling you that you are uppity, you better than someone. But we're, we're, we're trying to tell you, it comes a time where God is coming in your life and it takes me to the story of, of Saul. Mm -hmm. Remember how Saul, he trusted and believed in what he was doing. Right. But he was blinded mm -hmm. on his road to Damascus, Damascus for three days. Mm -hmm. And when he woke up and got his sight back, he changed. Mm -hmm. Even with Joseph, there came a time in his life that had to be a change. Even his brothers even left right. him in a pit right. to die. But one thing that was so powerful about that, he never got out of character. That's right. Mm. That's right. Amen. He never got out of character. Stand in character under pressure. Ooh, ooh that's a good one. Yep. Yes, 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 yes. And that's what we want our listeners to understand and do. We want you to make that change. And one thing that you know you have changed is when you run into people that you knew or did things years ago, you look at them a certain way and they see you for what you were or what you were doing with them. 
And like I said, I, I have ran into many people years ago, and they say, oh, man, you, you, you still look the same. You look good, but there's something different about mm-hmm. you. And I think the Lord that God is shining through me, and I hope before I leave them that day that I could give them a encouraging word that, that, that they would take that and live by it. Mm-hmm. It's just like your transformation should match your character. Amen. You know? Amen. Well, you know, pastors, we shall thank you for being with us today. It's getting to be, to be that time. Captain, no shield. We want you to <laughs> give us a word. No, I don't want you to give us a word of courage. I want you to pray for us. Captain Cornell, you give us a word of courage because no shield will be out there. You call him Captain Cornell, too? Uh, I'll be Captain. That's Captain. Oh, <laughs> amen, amen. All right, well, Father, in Jesus' name, we just want to thank you, Lord, for this day. We ask that you let your word penetrate in the hearts of all the hearers today, oh God, to bring changes in their lives, to make wise decisions, and, and, and keep sound doctrine. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. Be encouraged this week that's uh, coming up that no matter what you go through, use common sense to make the decision. And God will never fail you. God will always be with you, always, even until the end of time. That's it. And next week, uh, I want y'all to just join us. And once again, I just want to thank all of you all for watching us and and, and being with us here, right, Joy, 1340 AM and 98.7 FM for our weekly broadcast is what? Focus 2020. God bless you. Till next week. Shalom. Shalom. Hey, I'm Pastor Walter Owens, along with my co-host, Pastor Charles Emery. You know, Pastor, I want to welcome all our listeners to join us for our weekly broadcast which is Focus 2020, and they can find us where? At Joy 1340 AM and 98.7 FM every Thursday at 2.30 PM. And what will they receive once they get here? They receive a word from the Lord, and I guarantee you will be blessed. Amen.